Breaking news. From 2015 to 2016, Maryland's beekeepers have lost 61% of their hives during the winter. Today we have Buzz Beerax reporting on the site of one of just many catastrophes. Joining me is a farmer and a resident beekeeper. So, what happened? Well, I walked out to check on my bees one day and all I saw was thousands of dead bees. I think it was the cold wind that hit them. Tell us the facts what you have here. Without bees, my crops won't be pollinated. And if my crops aren't pollinated, that means no money, no food, no nothing! Is there any way I could see the hive? Yeah, sure, right over here. Well, here they are. There are thousands of dead bees. But oh, look, there's one sole surviving queen. That's Queen Beyonce. I don't know how she managed to survive. For our curious viewers, we don't mean the singer. We mean an actual Queen Bee. Miss Yonce, could you tell us your story? Well, when winter came, we were already having trouble with humidity in the hive. Humidity in the hive causes condensation. If the condensation builds up enough, water droplets will fall onto the clustering bees, causing them to lose their ability to keep the cluster warm. Then a nice, sunny, warm day came, about 57 degrees out. I thought it was spring. The drones flew out for a cleansing flight, and that night the temperature dropped below 45 degrees, and they all went to the great hive in the sky. Here in the studio, we have bee researcher and engineer, McIver. Now, McIver, do you have any solutions to these major problems? Well, some beekeepers use hay bales to insulate their hives, and others wrap their hives in insulation, and others move their hives to warmer climates or indoors. Now, what is wrong with those solutions? Well, hay bales are difficult to keep dry, and they attract mice. And insulation doesn't even give you control of your temperature or your condensation. And moving your hives is very risky and is very expensive. Can't even figure this out with my duct tape and Swiss Army knife. Joining me is First Lake of Leaks Team Next Gen. What is your innovative solution? The, the Bee Haven. The Bee Haven? The Climate Controlled Bee Haven is a hive protector that encloses your hive like a greenhouse. The sensor bee rays hit the bee haven, which creates heat. The chloroplast traps the heat inside the hive. Sensors detect the temperature inside the bee haven and open the vent when the temperature is 40 degrees. The vent closes when the temperature is 38 degrees. The temperature control and airflow minimizes condensation. The bee haven even logs the temperature and humidity of the beehive and sends the information to the beekeeper. This way, if there's a problem, the beekeeper can look over the records and track back to when the problem started. The vents are powered by a solar panel on the roof. The removable roof allows beekeepers easy access to their hive. The roof is pitched so it snowballs away from the bee haven. Since beekeepers pay about $130 just for one three pound package of bees and a queen bee, the bee haven will only cost an estimated $69.95. I want to know where they got their information. We read countless articles, blogs, reports, magazines, watched videos, interviewed several beekeepers, a University of Maryland Agricultural Extension educator, Willie Lance, a retired regional bee inspector, Hop Cassidy. We even read books including The Beekeeper's Manual by Reverend L. L. Langstroth. You read the book written by the father of modern beekeeping? We have an ongoing experiment in the field. This way, our Bee Haven's design can be improved. Did you share your innovative solution? We shared the Bee Haven with the Appalachian Beekeepers Association, G-Force, a first tech challenge team, the staff and students of Swan Meadow School, a local Lions Club, and of course, our friends and family. So, now let's ask the beekeeper what he thinks. What do you think about their innovative solution? Finally, my bees will survive the winter. Not to mention, the Bee Haven is so affordable, where can I order one? Now we're going to ask the farmer, what do you think? More bees better. With more bees, my crops will be pollinated. And if my crops are pollinated, that means money, food, and anything else. Miss Yonsei. Finally, central heat and air and no condensation. It truly is a bee haven. Now what about you, McIver? Well, I just have one more question. Where's the chewing gum and the shoelaces? Oh, McIver. The, the Bee Haven keeps your bees Bee Haven. <laughs>